Americans that were shot in World War II actually survived. And engineers noticed that the bullet holes oh, clustered in these story. specific areas. So they planned to reinforce those spots, assuming that those were the weakest points on the plane. They also assumed these were the most commonly hit spots. Another engineer suggested that instead, they should reinforce the areas without any bullet holes. He explained that the planes that- Survivorship bias. In nuclear engineering, this tends to show up in systems that seem to function well until they fail catastrophically in a mode not previously observed. You can't just examine components that made it through a transient or upset condition. You need to model and simulate the actual components that failed or would fail under worse conditions. Count for the unforeseen failure. It in these unscathed areas were the ones that didn't return. Since the surviving planes weren't damaged there, it meant that those spots were likely the critical areas. The absence of observed failure does not imply unimportant. This is why nuclear plants have multiple redundant emergency core cooling systems. Needed the extra reinforcement. Enforcement. Nuclear engineers are trained to avoid this bias through probabilistic risk assessment and using fault tree analysis to account for these hidden failures.